So in this lecture we're going to learn about the Unix command grep. Uh, grep is a very powerful command for looking, searching the contents of files for specific patterns using regular expressions. <coughs> so <coughs> grep stands for global regular expression print. Uh, it, it scans the, its input for a pattern and can display the selected pattern, the line numbers, or file names where the patterns occur. So the basic structure of grep is uh, grep and some options, then the specific pattern, and then the file name. And of course we can use wildcards uh, to search many file names if we prefer. Here's some of the options for grep. Um, probably one of the most used is the dash i, which ignores uh, case. That should be case. I'll correct that in the in the notes. Uh, ignores the case for case for matching purposes. Um, dash v actually uh, is kind of a negation, or it, it displays the opposite of what you ask it to do. Um, so it doesn't display the matching expression, but but displays uh, other ones. So n will display the, the line numbers and, and so on. There's there's several other ones. Uh, the dash e is how you would uh, specify mul <coughs> multiple patterns. Excuse me. So if you had multiple patterns that you'd want to match, you'd use a dash e in the pattern and then another dash e in the pattern. Uh, it can also be used, it has two meanings. It also has to do with uh, if you have an expression beginning with a hyphen then you'll, you'll use a dash E and then the pattern with the hyphen. So these are your basic options. <clears throat> and of course we can use uh, regular, exp I'm sorry, we can use regular expressions with it. Uh, for instance, the, the first uh, example I show up here, uh, this would match uh, either wood house or uh, this is actually supposed to be an E and that's been corrected in the posted notes. But uh, that would, uh, I intended that to match either wood house or woad house. And I'll give you some examples of that in just a second. Uh, it also works really well with pipe. So we can pipe the output of one command into grep and then use it to search for something. Uh, it also works well with, uh, with find. And I'll give you some examples of that. And just so you're aware, uh, there's a Perl script called ACK, which basically uses the same commands as grep, uh, the same input commands as grep. Um, but does a little bit more sophisticated searching in that it, it ignores uh, version repository files and some other things. It also displays the output a little bit better. Uh, so just so you're aware of it. <clears throat> so let's go over and, and look at some examples. Uh, here I'm on, I'm on Shamu. And, uh, you know, first thing we could do is we could just simply uh, look inside a file, uh, say, uh, uh, for the pattern, we'll say my username, and we'll look inside the file Etsy uh, password. And uh, so there it shows up. If I wanted to print the name, um, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the line number, then I would pre uh, use the dash N option. So there it sho sees, shows you that uh, it shows up on line 88. Um, so we could also uh, look inside this. Um, we we'll use the, the dash i option to ignore the case. And say we want to look inside this file, Etsy password, for, uh, the, str for uh, the string Millwater. But perhaps we don't know exactly how Millwater is spelled. For instance, it could be spelled with one i or with, I'm sorry, with one l or with two l's. So this is, would be a case where we can use the pattern matching. So if we, <coughs> if we put an l there uh, and then an asterisk, then this will match actually zero L's, so that would be a word, my water. <laughs> uh, and then it would also match a single L or two L's and ignoring the case. So if we uh, execute this, we can see all the lines where Millwater appears in either upper or lower case. Okay, so that's how we'd use that. Now, as I mentioned, it works well with <clears throat> find, so perhaps we don't know, uh, we know there's a, a password, a file, uh, called password, but we don't know exactly. Um, we don't know exactly where where it's located. So what we could do is use it with find. So we could say find. Uh, we'll go ahead and only search the uh, Etsy directory, uh, and we'll 
go max depth one. So to make it quick, we'll only search uh, in the Etsy directory itself. Uh, we'll search for a file called password, and then we will execute grep mealwater so I actually forgot the the dash name there uh, made a mistake so <clears throat> there it shows you that of course I didn't use the dash I in grep so it only found the one lowercase uh, match there but if I use the dash I to ignore the case then we get all these answers <clears throat> okay I also mentioned that it works well with with uh, piping so for instance you know <clears throat> I can type who to display the the users that are logged in uh, and maybe I want to search for a particular person in this case I'll just use it my, myself so I'll pipe the output of who into grep and look for FES 788 cool okay so that's how that would work uh, so just one more example of a more sophisticated pattern matching. I have a file here uh, called names.txt and uh, you can see there's two names in there, John Foster and Jim Forrester. Uh, you could imagine that there's many more names in there. Um, <clears throat> but if I wanted to grep, say, just for Foster, well then I would just type Foster and uh, the file <clears throat> and there it would show the output. But perhaps I want to <clears throat> search for Foster and Forrester. I can use some pattern matching to do that. So uh, the first thing I would do <clears throat> is use the K sequence RS here. Uh, then I would use an E star, S star, T E R. So what this is going to do, uh, the first, uh, the K sequence RS will choose either R or S and then the next thing it'll look for zero or more occurrences of E, zero or more occurrences of S, and then TER uh, in the file names.txt. And so if we execute that, then you can see that uh, both John Foster and Jim Forrester were found. So this is how you'd use uh, pattern matching in conjunction with GREP.